Hi, I'm Sean, and I'm here to show you two new things that will be coming to you guys shortly. Um, and it, uh, I've shown some of you guys this. Uh, it's one of our new cameras. Uh, we got, we're getting rid of our Sony V1Us uh, in the place of these new cameras. We have <coughs> the Canon XA25, which is pretty much a little bit a step above the Sony V1Us. But with me right now, I have one of our Vixia cameras. Uh, it's a, called a Canon Vixia HFR40. Uh, basically what this is, is <coughs> it's a point and shoot camera. So for those who want to go out and record and don't want to be intimidated by the bells and whistles of the XA25, and they just want to go out and just record something simple, just hit record and not worry about anything else, this is going to be the camera that you would use. The nice thing about this camera versus the Sony V1Us is it no longer uses uh, many DV tapes. This camera is using SD cards. On the side of the camera, there's a door here uh, where it houses the SD card, and all your footage is recorded directly to the SD card. Uh, this is nice because you don't have to sit around for uh, what seems like hours and hours of capturing before you can even edit. You just pull the SD card out, and uh, you throw it in your computer or in one of our Macs, and you can immediately start editing. Something to keep in mind, though, is when you tape with it and you put it into the computer to edit, you always want to take the footage off the SD card and put it on your hard drive before you put it into Premiere or whatever else you're using to record or edit, I should say. Um, now, I don't have it with me, but the XA25s, the difference between this and the XA25 is the XA25 has the ability to plug in the XLR microphones. So if you want to bring a handheld or if you want to bring one of our wireless kits, you can do that with the XA25. However, with the Vixia camera, you cannot um, because it doesn't have any XLR inputs. However, there is a quarter inch microphone input. Uh, I don't think we have any equipment that can interface with that, but it's there if you have the microphone. So personally, I think the XLR connections are more reliable. Beside the Vixia, we now have robotic cameras in our Studio B location. What this means exactly is whoever is directing the show can move around the cameras without having to set foot outside of the control room. So there's a new panel inside the control room which you can pan, zoom, move, and tilt the camera without leaving the control room, which is nice. And you can also set presets. So that way, if you have a show with like three guests and you want to get a close-up of a guest, or if you want to get a close-up of maybe a brochure or a picture they're holding, you can do that without having to get up, come out here, and move a camera. So we have two erotic cameras. And we also um, have for the wide shot, which is normally our camera two, we have replaced with one of the old Sony V1Us. It might be old, but compared to the Panasonic cameras we had beforehand, it's a jump in quality. So everything being taped here at our Studio B location is now in high definition. Though that is, with that being said, it's high definition to an extent. High definition can be gone out on our on YouTube. When we are going out on our channels 6, 17, or 22, that will still be, unfortunately, standard definition. Though it will be in 16 by 9 um, aspect ratio, so it should look better. Anyway, that's all I have to show you guys today. Another day I will show you the XA25 and its capabilities. Now, if you have taken our camera classes before, um, it's not mandatory, but recommended. Uh, all of our camera classes from here on out will be now on the Vixia and the XA25s. It operates a little bit the same. However, there are some minor differences that we would like to show you. Uh, again, not mandatory, but we recommend that you retake the course. And I do believe there's a discount on the course if you heard, have already taken the course for the XA, um, I'm sorry, the Sony V1U. Anyway, that's all from me. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you here soon. Thanks.